Cheminus is a community in the Cheminus Valley on the east coast of southern Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Founded as an unincorporated logging town in 1858, Cheminus is now famous for its 39 outdoor murals. This outdoor gallery has given birth to many businesses, including a theatre, antiques dealers, and eateries. The tourist industry stemming from the murals helped rejuvenate the town after its large sawmill closed in the early 1980s and was replaced by a smaller, more efficient, mill. The name Cheminus comes from the native shaman and prophet, Tsa Mian is, meaning broken chest. Legend says that the man survived a massive wound in his chest to become a powerful chief. His people took his name to identify their community, the Stuminus First Nation, formerly the Cheminus Indian Band. The railway arrived in the 1880s and by the early 1920s the town's population had ballooned to 600 persons. Cheminus was eventually designated a census-populated area by Statistics Canada comprising the more built-up residential and commercial neighbourhoods. Its population had further grown to 3,035 residents by 2011. A larger more inclusive Cheminus area is customarily regarded as comprising part of the district of North Cowican that lies north of the Cheminus River. This is the area covered by the Cheminus Advisory Committee set up as a consultation body by North Cowican. Cheminus Secondary School is located in the town, and serves as a secondary school for students living in Cheminus, Crofton, and Saltaire. A BC ferry terminal is located in Cheminus, which provides service to Thetis Island and Penelakat Island previously Kuppa. On 13 January 2006, a Boeing 737 aircraft was sunk off the coast in order to build an artificial reef. The sinking was documented in, "...sinking wings", an episode of the Discovery Channel series, Mega Builders. <laughs> Economic development post-Fordism In the 1980s, British Columbia's forest industry experienced a period of deep recession, largely caused by a substantial decrease in demand and price of BC forest products. This decrease came as a consequence of increases in global competition within forest product markets, the reduction in BC forest stocks, the placing of tariffs on BC forest imports to the United States, issues regarding Aboriginal land claims and the increased public support for environmental groups. Scholars view this recession more importantly as a representation of a larger structural shift from a Fordism economic production system under Pinning many North American industries, toward one of post Fordism. Fordism is a system of production methods based on principles of specialized mass production technologies, aimed at capturing economies of scale. However, due to rising global competition, energy crises, stagflation, and recession, Fordism began to unravel. Consequently, a new system of economic production, characterized by greater flexibility and the exploitation of economies of scope, known as post Fordism, began to emerge. This transition placed a heavy burden on coastal single industry forest communities like Cheminus due to rising unemployment. At Cheminus, post Fordist restructuring of BC's forest industry resulted in a large overhaul of the local sawmill owned by the Macmillan Bloedel Company, a CPR subsidiary. Automated, state of the art machinery was installed, which allowed for greater flexibility in producing a larger range of products and greater ease in meeting varied market demands. This restructuring however led to a reduction in the amount workers necessary for its operation, a decrease from about 600 workers to 145 workers. However, the declining forest industry in Cheminus has led to a drive to diversify the local economy. 
Cheminus has been successful in growing its tourist industry through the entrepreneurial activities of local citizens. Key projects include the revitalization of Cheminus's main street, through painting a series of large outdoor murals, as well as the construction of a shopping mall several miles away. Cheminus's geographical location, between Vancouver Island's largest cities, Victoria and Nanaimo, as well as its proximity to ferry terminals and the Coast Island Highway, has also contributed to the successful growth of tourism in the community. While tourism activities Activities represent a new feature of Cheminus's economy. The forest industry is still the largest industry in the community. Cheminus's restructured sawmill is profitable, and newer developments such as Cheminus's Industrial Park have been completed, attracting a number of re manufacturing firms, including Planck's Wood Center and Paul Can. Despite Cheminus being heralded as a rare case of successful economic redevelopment within small resource communities, there are still some uncertainties facing its continued development into the future. Some note that the initial redevelopment projects in Cheminus such as the painting of large murals and other revitalization projects depended on funding from the government. This funding has largely disappeared and some have observed a reduction of opportunities for entrepreneurialism. <laughs> 